Hello and welcome to this demonstration video where I will show you how to configure and test the Brothers and RTU32 running the IEC60 N270 101 master. The first thing to do is to open the Excel sheet. The Excel sheet consists of several worksheets. We have the main, we have the variables, 101 slave, 101 master, etc. In this video I will concentrate on the main, the variables and the 101 master. First of all, configure the main. He will give our, our project a name, we'll call it client001. Then I have to put in the IP address of the RTU running the 101 master. And then I have to choose the program types. I can choose between 101 slave, 101 master, 104 client, 104 server. In this case, we'll be running the 101 master. And the next one is to give the program a name. I'll just leave this for the client 001. Now we'll go on to the variables worksheet. In this worksheet, we define the different data points, single point, double points, measured, uh, normalized values, etc. So first thing, we have a local remote. We have a door switch. We have AC supply monitor, DC supply monitor, a valve position, we have a flow and a temperature, and we'll be sending a c valve control, so valve control. Then I have to specify the signal type, in this case it's receive monitor single point. double point for the valve position, measured value, like this, and here we'll be sending a control double point. Then I have to give my variable some names. I'll be using the naming convention slave001 and then the IOA address. So I'll just fill out the IOA address like this and then CUA address is one for this. Then I have to specify whether we are using the select execute functionality. In this example, we have the false. Just put in zero byte for the tag type. Now we have done all the variables configuration. We move on to the 101 master. Here I'll specify what COM port we are using. In this case, we are using the COM port one. I'll enable the locking of all ADSU sent to the RTU32 so we can use Telnet or our event viewer. So now we are done configuring our mas 101 master. We'll go to the code generator. Here I'll be choosing just to download the code directly after compilation. Then I have to choose whether I'll be using the active Excel sheet or I can browse for one and also have the opportunity to add several other Excel sheets so I can program up to four RTU32 in one click. I'll just be using the Excel Excel sheet and I'll press generate, start the code generation, the compilation and afterwards download to our client. Sorry, to the master. Now the program is downloaded and up running. We'll just close this one and then we can test the program. See it's working. I'll be using the Telnet client, port 911. So here we have a lot of events. I'll just try to change one of the digital input. 
see if we see if they went okay it was on then off the next digital input it's working yeah and then i'll try to change the analog input to see if we receive some messages yeah here was one one more so everything is working as configured this was all for now thank you